In this video, I will be deploying Dropbox using group policy and task scheduler. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And the policy that I will be creating will perform four actions as you can see here. First, it will deploy the installation file to C program data deployment folder on the client machine. After that, it will deploy a PowerShell script called run ps1 to the same folder and I'm using this script because I don't want to execute the installation on the computers that already have Dropbox installed. Also, I will deploy a scheduled task that will be responsible for executing the script and after that we'll be removing the scheduled task after the software installation. Also, all of the settings will have item level targeting because I don't want to deploy these settings on the computers that already have the software installed. And now I will begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for this deployment and I will start with the installation file and for that I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the Dropbox download page. Here I will click here on download the offline installer and then I will go back to my GitHub page. Because here I also have the script that I will be using to execute the installation so I will click on it. And as you can see it's a very simple PowerShell script, basically it accepts three arguments and it will check if a registry key exists and if it, does, if it doesn't it will execute the installation and the registry key that, that I'm checking appears after Dropbox installation and you can add more logic to the script if you want to but for this video this should be fine so I will click on this button right here to download the script and then I will go to my downloads folder where I have my files already downloaded I will select both of them and then I will copy them, them and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. For now let's minimize the server manager because we want to place our files in a network share that is accessible to our computers. So for that I will open file explorer and enter my file server name, it's SRV02. Here I have the software share, I will go inside of it and I will create another folder called drop box and go inside of that and then I will place the files into this folder and here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and share permissions for example in my case if I go to properties security tab and edit you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for my NTFS permissions and I have the same permissions for my shared permissions an authenticated users covers both users and computers that are in my domain and with read permissions that means that all of my users and all of my computers are able to access the share and execute files from it. And for this video we mainly care only about the computers. Anyway let's close everything here and let's go to the server manager because now we can start creating our group policy and for that let's go to tools and group policy management. I will right click on group policy objects and select new. I will name the policy deploy drop box and click OK. I will expand group policy objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click it and select edit. And because this policy is for our computers, we need to go to computer configuration, preferences. And the first action that I will be configuring will be for the file deployment. And for that we need to go to Windows settings and files. Then right click here, go to new and select file. Here we need to provide source file and destination file. Source file is where we currently have our file and destination file is where we want it to appear on the client machine. And I have all the values that I will be using in this video in my GitHub page so I will go there. And as you can see for the exe deployment we have all the necessary values. So I will copy the first one basically is the location in my file server where I have the Dropbox installation file. So I will paste it here, I will go back for the destination location and I will copy it. As you can see here I'm using an environment variable that leads to C program data. And let's paste it here. So we're done with our executable deployment but like I said I want to deploy these settings only on the computers that don't have the software installed. So for that I will be using item level targeting and for that we need to go to common tab, select item level targeting and targeting. And once again here I will be targeting a registry key that is created after Dropbox installation. And for that I will go to new item, registry match 
for the hive i will select local machine and for the key path i will go back to the github page and i will copy the value from here and paste it here and the default behavior is that it will check if the key exists and if it does it will deploy the file and we want the opposite and for that i will go to item options and i will select is not and now it says does not exist so the file will be deployed if the key does not exist and that's what we want so i will click ok apply and ok and now we have the deployment for our executable but we need another one for the script deployment so i'll right click on this section i will copy it and i will paste it here i will select the second action i will remove the values from the source file and destination file and go back to the github page because once again i have all the values here and i don't want to make any typos because there is a lot of settings here and we're done deploying our script it seems all the values are correct and because we used copy paste we have item level targeting settings already in it so let's click apply and ok and that's it for the file deployment now let's deploy our schedule task and for that we need to go to control panel settings here expand it and select schedule task and select it then right click here go to new and select schedule task at least windows 7 and here once again we need to fill in some values first we need to name our schedule task and once again i have all the necessary values here so i'll copy them from here i will name the task deployed dropbox and then we need to provide a username under which we want to run this task in this case it will be anti authority system i will paste it here and we're done in this step now we need to configure a trigger so let's go to triggers tab select new and begin task let's select at startup and okay now we need to configure an action that will execute the powershell script so let's click new here we'll enter powershell.exe and then paste it here and then we need to provide the arguments and as you can see the argument value is a bit long basically we're executing the script that we have on the client machine and then we're providing a value for our executable the silent installation switch and the registry key that we'll be checking and the executable will be executed only if this registry key is does not exist so let's copy everything from here and paste it here and click ok and we're done with the main settings now once again we want item level targeting because we don't want to deploy it on the computers that already have the schedule i mean a dropbox installed so back to the common tab item level targeting and targeting and let's target the same registry key for the hive let's select local machine go back to the github page and let's copy the key path and paste it here and also from exist we need to check change it to does not exist and let's click ok and apply and ok and we're done with deploying our schedule task but we don't want to have it after the software is installed so let's copy it and let's create a removal for it so now we have a copy let's click on the copy for the action let's select delete and let's go back to item level targeting because we want to deploy this setting only after the installation is done so in this case we want to change from does not exist to does exist so back to the item options and let's click this and now we have exists and that's it let's click ok apply and ok and we're done configuring everything in our group policy so we can close this window let's now go to details and for gpo status i will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer configurations in it and i will leave all other settings on default now after creating our policy we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the software in my case the organization unit will be this one domain computers one so to assign the policy i will select the policy and then click on it and drag and drop it and to an organization unit and click ok here as you can see the policy appeared here and also in the list here and now we can go to one of the client machines that is located in this organization unit and let's see how the group policy behaves and works 
and I have the client right here, client01. First, I will open File Explorer and I will go to C Program Data. And as you can see, we don't have the deployment folder yet. And let's open Test Scheduler and make sure to run it as administrator because otherwise you will not be able to see the scheduled task that is deployed by the group policy. And as you can see, we currently don't have it. So for it to appear and for the app files to appear, we need to do a GP update. So let's open command line and do GP update. And as you can see, almost instantly we have our files. And also if I refresh the task list, we can see that we have the deployment task for Dropbox. It the task has not run yet, so everything seems to be fine. Also, one thing to note is that if I delete the schedule task and then do group policy update once again, it should reappear. And this will happen until a Dropbox is successfully installed on this computer, if all of my settings are working properly. Also, same goes for the files. If I delete them, they should reappear. So if you don't want for that to happen, you need to delete the, the group policy or deactivate it, or you may need to make sure that Dropbox is installed on the computers. Anyways, let's see if the deployment itself is working. So let's close everything here. And in the command line, I will type shut down minus R minus D zero. And now let's see what's going to happen. And the restart is done. So I'll sign to the computer. I'll try to open the task manager to see if the Dropbox is still installing. As you can see here, we have few processes still running. So let's wait a minute or two and let it finish. And the installation seems to be done. We don't have any more Dropbox processes running that is that are responsible for the software installation. So if I go to my start menu, Maybe here we have the Dropbox executable. I, will, I can click on it and let's wait for it to launch. Ah, here it is. And it seems to be working just fine. Now we can go to the test scheduler. I'll run it as administrator and sign into administrator account. Let's minimize Dropbox for now. As you can see, we still have the task and it was executed successfully. So everything seems to be working fine so far. I will also oh, open File Explorer and go to C Program Data. And let's remove the deployment folder because we didn't uh, configure the auto removal for the files so we can remove it manually. And also the task itself should remove after uh, another group policy update. So let's see if item level targeting is working and that the files are not redeployed and task uh, is removed. So for that, let's open command line and let's type GP update. Let's check the files first. Uh, we don't see the deployment folder reappearing. So the item level targeting for the files seems to be working just fine. And for the task, if I refresh here, the task that is responsible for the executing the installation is also gone. So item level targeting seems to be working just fine. Also, the Dropbox is working fine also. And that's it for deploying Dropbox using group policy and task scheduler. And as you can see, the deployment itself is very messy, so I don't recommend that you use it in a production environment, but sometimes it, this uh, type of deployment can be very useful. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and see you in the next one.